Our guest tonight is skeptical about a quick debt deal in Washington and the staying power of the stock market rally. He's David Bianco, chief U.S. equity strategist at Deutsche Bank. Good evening. So, hi, David. So what is it that's really worrying you? Is it this short-term, six-week deal or something, something else? Well, I think the latest news already suggests that we're not going to get a deal tomorrow or even by Monday. So this is already a disappointment to a market that got hopeful uh, during the afternoon. I think the market sells off 30, 40 points on the S&P 500 tomorrow. Uh, but the good news is investors didn't want a six-week deal. They want a longer-term deal that has some more compromise and structural reform to it. So disappointment over the short term, but we still think we get a better deal by late next week, or it could even take longer than that. But we do think ultimately a deal is reached, interest payments are not missed, and the market climbs higher at the, by the end of the year. So, David, I hear you say that that 320-some-odd point gain of today on the Dow could be a 320-some-odd point loss tomorrow. That's precisely right. I mean, there was a lot of high hopes today about what could happen this evening and over the course of the next few days. And I think we've, we're getting a dose of reality that this isn't over yet. I think Secretary Liu did a great job of, of reiterating the 17th as a, an important deadline and the increasing risks after that. And I think that will focus minds for next week, late next week. But the reality is the government's likely to stay shut for longer, and uh, there'll be more volatility in markets. We still think this is an attractive entry for long-term investors, but there'll probably be a better opportunity next week. So what are you saying? Uh, investors should uh, sell into these rallies, buy into these rallies, or sit tight? I think investors will make money by the end of the year if they bought right now. I think investors will make more money if they wait till next week. It's up to investors just how tactical they want to be. Uh, I'm constructive on the market for the rest of the year and next year. Equity market's still attractive, especially versus other asset classes. Third quarter earnings, which will really pick up steam uh, in the next couple of weeks, they should be healthy. And uh, I think what we're going to get is a glimpse of how good earnings can be, corporate confidence on investment spending without these disruptions coming from, from politics. I presume you just heard our John Harwood, whose uh, reporting and instincts indicate to him that as some sort of deal, reopening the government and raising at least temporarily the debt ceiling will get done by that October 17th date. I hear you a little more skeptical of that, that it might slip beyond that date and maybe into the week after next. What would that mean uh, in, in practical terms, both to the markets and to the functioning of uh, the federal system, which is roughly 80 percent open as it is today? Right. Well, we do think a deal is likely achieved by the end of next week, the 18th, kind of last minute, one minute past midnight, if you will, uh, that type of deal. We think that's the most likely scenario. But we, we also have to acknowledge that uh, that date is not necessarily a very hard deadline. This could easily go on for the rest of the month. Um, and uh, I, I don't think the equity market suffers a 10 percent correction. I don't think the S&P 500 goes under 1,600. It's right now about 1,690. It got as low as 1,648 just uh, yesterday. I, I think it would take a lot more rattling of investors' nerves, which have been very sanguine so far, first to breach anything like 1,620. But yes, you're right. The longer this goes on, the more of a risk it is to investor, business manager, and even consumer confidence. And in the end, this should be resolved, but it can do some lasting damage. Uh, we're certainly seeing some of that already. Thank you so much, David. Thank you. David Bianco, Chief U.S. Equity Strategist at Deutsche Bank.